Hey everyone, welcome back to some Bloodcrest Manor uh, footage and content. Today I have something very special uh, to show and talk about and review for you guys. And that is the Spirit Halloween Monty Monkey Animatronic. To be honest, this is the first time I've ever put together an animatronic for Halloween. I've never had a house that allowed me to do like trick-or-treating for kids or nothing like that. So I never really did any crazy outdoor um, outdoor decorations. I always kind of focused on the indoor, which, you know, this year for Halloween, I'll show you guys once I get it all out and decorated, uh, just how much stuff I have and how much I love doing it. But this really struck me uh, when I saw them. So we're going to get them put together. We're going to have a little time lapse for you guys. And I'm going to show you his demo. And then I'll tell you what I think about the price and how he operates and, and everything about him. So here we go, guys. Enjoy the footage and the spoopy music that goes with it. Now, I want to make something really clear really fast. This isn't going to be something that's very often on this channel. I don't want a bunch of commercial decorations or aesthetic in the haunt itself. In the case of Monty though, he is such a perfect fit for somewhere in the haunt where I want him, in which I don't want to give away any themes away, but there's not going to be much clown activity at first. And I know he kind of has like a circusy feel, but he's actually not going to be that at all. Yeah. Oh, see, this is one of my favorites, man. Yeah. So Monty is the official first animatronic of Bloodcrest. And because we have to build him and see what he does and all that, I thought I'd make a really cool video to show you guys everything about him and what he does. And let you know if I think he's worth what he costs and how easy it was to build, how user friendly, things like that. To be honest, this is the first time I've ever put together an animatronic for Halloween. Why does the sensor keep going off? You know, there's like little issues here that I'm yeah. not really just pleased with. Right. You pay that money, you expect it to work on. Yeah. Welcome back. We are finished building him up and everything is uh, here and going. Unfortunately, he has some issues that he just shouldn't be having in my opinion. Uh, his the internal speaker doesn't work the sensor just he, if you have him on sensor mode he just pops off non-stop and, and that's not going to work uh, his symbol came bent really bad on the front right where everyone's going to be able to see and uh, his mouth function uh, when his when his mouth well, looking at other examples his mouth shouldn't his teeth shouldn't be clicking in this case his teeth are actually slapping against each other I'm not an expert in these but I have to imagine that that's not good eventually that's going to probably cause issues with the electric motor in it so uh i gotta admit i'm pretty disappointed uh, i really hate to say that i love how he looks i love what he does but uh when you pay 300 bucks for something it should work beautifully out of the box there should be no issues and in this case he has four issues that are some of which I can deal with, you know, the speaker really sucks and makes me upset, but I intend to have him on an external speaker anyway. The sensor really doesn't matter because I want to have him set up on a button system anyway. Uh, the symbol, though, and the jaw, that's two really big issues in my opinion. So I want to reach out to their tech department and see what they say. Uh, if I have to take them back and get another one, that's what we'll try to do. And then we'll have a part two of building 
Monty the Monkey. But yeah, so as right now, pretty disappointed. But uh, hopefully we'll get something fixed and changed about him. But all right, guys, that's it for now, and we'll keep you updated. Two weeks later. Hey, everyone, welcome back to Bloodcrest Manor. So today we're going to go ahead and put this Monty together and see if he works. Please, please, please work as intended. At the end of it, I'll tell you if I think the price tag is worth what the actual animatronic is. And I'm actually going to find out myself because I'm not sure yet. But alright guys, so thank you very much and uh, enjoy the show. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. I just got done completing Monty and getting him all set out of the box with the help of my dad. And uh, we're going to show you his demo real quick and show you how he works with the lights on like this. And then I'm going to have a black light on him while he's on to show you how that looks. So much better. No clunking from the mouth. Speaker works. So thankfully everything, the sensor works on him, the voice box works on him, the jaw is not clunking anymore. The only issue I have out of the box, well there's two things I would like to point out. One, the, the symbols are both warped this time. Well, <laughs> give me one second. Hush up, Monty. Anyway. So his symbols are still warped, they came warped, and I think that's because of how they packaged them. I think that uh, they packaged him in a way that was too tight. The box probably needed maybe another inch or two at least, and that's being generous. Um, but uh, other than that, I can fix the symbols. Another thing I noticed was is his eyes and his overall paint job on this one looks different and more blocky than the first one I had. Uh, I'm that, that might just be me. I want to review the I want to review the footage and the pictures I have of him. But I could have swore that the definition of it out of the outlining on his face was so much more than it is here on on him now. So uh, he's probably going to end up getting a uh, uh, some highlighting done. Facelift. <laughs> <laughs> some shadowing at least see to me all of these lines are just painted over but they need to be creased like they need to have that highlight in it of a uh, color and there's a right way and a wrong way to do it and honestly the right way to do it is going to be really unfortunate but I think that might be what has to happen the right way to do this would be to completely cover his eyes and right here on the outlines of his fur uh, with mask uh, with painters tape and then to completely paint him over black and then to uh, dry brush on like a brown uh, like maybe probably a brown and then maybe like a lighter skin tone on top of that like it has here and that would leave you with the definition already left in it and looking natural that might be what has to happen I kind of doubt it what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with a small brush and I'm going to see if I can't just put the, 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 blah, the definition in it myself. But other than that, he's really cool. I, uh, and see down here on his feet, you can kind of see what I mean. They did better definition on his feet. Even that didn't even have enough. But he's going to get a slight makeover. He's going to look a little bit better. And I'll show you guys a video of that when I go to do it. But for now, this is Monty. Uh, overall... He costs $300 uh, without any coupon help. I had a 20% off coupon getting them. It dropped them down to, I think it was like $260. Uh, it, after tax and whatnot. Uh, do I think it's worth it? Yes. I think Monty's worth it with the coupon. He's just so unique looking comparatively to other animatronics I've seen. And now that Halloween is gaining a lot of steam, I think that... Uh, you're going to start seeing more and more props like Monty that are just unique and built better. Uh, the first one I got was unfortunately 
a dud. But this one looks really good. His fur needs a little bit of loving. Want a sucked face? <laughs> Anyway, so now I'm going to try them uh, with the lights off and a black light on them, and I'll show you guys this demo on that. Okay, so that is, <laughs> thank you Monty. So that's Monty working as intended. Cl jaw not clinking. Uh, the sensor not always going off. The voice box working. All of this is working as intended now and he is much more reminiscent of what I saw in the store and online. I'm definitely going to be making some changes to his like paint job. I'm not nah, too excited about that. But that's a good thing in my opinion. I want every single animatronic in the haunted house to be unique in its own way. I don't want someone to say, oh, there goes the Spirit Halloween animatronic. At the very least, I want them to say, wow, someone really spent some time and effort on that animatronic from Spirit. Um, I'm, Bag of Bones is going to get a, a massive one. And I'm thinking I'm actually going to have two Bag of Bones. Uh, he's just such a jarring jump scare. He's not going to be necessarily in the haunt, I don't think. But he is uh, definitely a cool prop. And a lot of people are giving him a lot of flack for uh, falling over and not being that unique. I think he's pretty cool. So we're about to build him next, and uh, we're going to take you along with us on that. Boo -boo.